Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're looking at intermediate blocks. So, um, there are some things that I'm not really going to show because I think it's important for FLL teams to discover this on their own. Uh, one of these things being line following. Uh, it would be a good example for right now, but um, it's important for teams to learn themselves and truly understand what they're doing and go through that process of discovering how to line follow or or more complicated things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a loop here pull out a loop there we go just a little bit slow all right so we're just gonna make it display um, things depending on what the sensors are reading. Uh, we'll make it exit when a brick button is pressed, kind of like um, running a program. Uh, let's just make it the center button and it's already set up. So it, when it's pressed, it'll exit. Um, all right, so let's get a touch sensor here. And if we go to compare, you'll remember we have a true-false output, and we'll use that for our switch. Zoom out a bit here. So if we go to a logic switch, you'll see we have an input for a logic uh, wire. So we'll plug that in. And let's say if it's pressed, it'll turn green. Uh, solid green. And if it's not, uh, we'll turn red. Solid red. Uh, let's see, what other sensor can we use? Okay, so we have a color sensor here. So let's just use a switch this time instead of just using the instead of using the true or false color sensor. We compare reflected light. Let's say if it gets less than so less than 50 is dark. So let's make it just 40, just so it's less um, sensitive to the light. If it's dark enough, then we will. Let's see, what can we do? We'll display. Images, expressions. A sleeping. A sleeping. So, because it's dark and you're sleeping. But if it's bright, then we can have a big smile because we're awake and stuff. Um, ultrasonic sensor. All right, so let's pull out a ultrasonic sensor. And another switch. Change this to logic. And a compare. Let's go in inches. If anybody gets closer than 10 inches, so that's less than, so that's right. And we'll be like a 
scare them off. Let's see what's the scary sound. Uh, animals. Dog growl. That's a scary sound. That was pretty scary. And we'll just have it do nothing if um, nothing is close. Okay, so what this program should do now is if the button is if the center button of the EV3 is pressed, then what will happen is it'll exit the entire loop and nothing in here will run anymore. So in a way, this is kind of like a guard dog. So picture picture it like a like a dog. So the touch sensor is petting, and when you pet it, it's happy and it's green, and when you're not petting it, it's red and it's angry. And if it's dark, it'll be sleeping. If it's awake, it'll be happy. And if you get too close, it'll growl. So that's just kind of some of the different things you can do 